Welcome to Tomorrow's World, and don't forget, we don't hate technology, but it could replace us. So, what's been going on this week? Well, Tom Bowles and Richard Segal have come out with this new app that's supposed to identify the next Mark Zuckerberg. This app combines a bit of data about your career and who you've worked with, and then spits out supposedly the top 100 most talented people in the world. Now, the challenge with this is it does become a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. The people it identifies as the most talented will become more successful because it identifies them. So it'll be interesting to see how that one pans out. In other news, MasterCard has started using artificial intelligence to sell us more debt. They're combining a kind of hybrid system between their salespeople and artificial intelligence and allowing them to access that system to analyze the answers that customers give and produce better sales results. This kind of hybrid system we're gonna be seeing more of as companies want to dip their toe in artificial intelligence, but maybe not commit completely. So, on to this week's questions. We had a great question from Ben Bryson. What's the difference between AI and machine learning? Well, AI, artificial intelligence, is an overarching term, and machine learning is an aspect of artificial intelligence. We had another great question from Alan Smith. What will be the first effects of AI? You know, how will we first see it? How will we first identify that AI is impacting our lives? Well, we already probably do. We probably just don't realize it. Every time a package gets to your house a little bit quicker than you expected, that's probably AI running on a logistics system. So many aspects of big data now actually do have an artificial intelligence aspect to it. You're gonna see all aspects of your life affected in small ways by artificial intelligence. but the big, big wins for artificial intelligence in humans is probably self-driving cars. That's when it's really going to become noticeable. So, as always, thank you for watching. Please like us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you next week, Internet.